Now, actually, semua orang manage data the same way. Government no different, private sector no different. Whether you are manufacturing, whether you are uh, energy, whether you are upper upper, yeah? everybody actually manage the data the same way. Yeah? You collect the data. Yeah? Everybody collect the data. Working data dia banyak. Maybe not a lot. They could be transactional. They could be streaming. Yeah, like if let's say you got camera feed, uh, you can uh, maybe sensors. You know, you want to do that. So the data can be in any form. Yeah, unstructured, structured, fair, but everybody collect data. Yeah. Okay. After you collect the data, you need to prepare the data. Now I will tell you, collection of data is the least of your problem. Yeah, data collection is none. It is like ourselves, right? Kita suka beli barang di rumah. Okay, we buy things, we collect, collect, collect. We say, oh, maybe someday uh, we have a use for this. So we collect saja. Yeah? Now, when we really want to use the data, kita nak prepare the data. Ha, huh, this is where we have problem. Number one, did we forget to collect data that is required here? Yeah? Number two, the data is not good. The data is not of good quality. The data is not granular enough. Now, sometimes data that is too granular, kita boleh summarize. Tetapi kalau data not granular enough, dia tak bagi insights yeah, into what we want to do. Now, preparation is always the biggest headache of anybody who not what analytic yeah, preparation. Siapa what, how you get the data source, mana data source dia, and the minute you print the data, they are jadi dirty again. Meaning that they are corrupted again, you cannot buy like me. Yeah? Okay, number three. Once you prepare the data, you will play what analysis. Yeah. Now, if you are not the subject matter expert, huh, it is your problem there. Okay? Analysis, you, know, you have to know what you want to analyze. Now, the biggest problem that people have as technical people, you know, user tidak tahu apa dia nak analyze. If we are preparing the data for them, that's why it's actually very important that they have tools here yeah, to do themselves, yeah, self-service, and how we teach them to be self-sufficient. Analyze here yeah, must be subject matter expert. Kalau you are not subject matter expert, the report that you give them, the analysis that you give them here yeah, is not going to be useful. They are can kata ini tak berguna ni. Okay. Now the fourth step is reporting. Now reporting also here yeah, lah. Uh, we need to decide what kind of report and finally sharing the data. Now, I'm going to kind of the next steps I'm going to show you is that apakah problem problem that kita encounter, right? In each step, I already shared with you here yeah, some of the problem, but I will emphasize it here. Yeah. Okay. Huh. Okay. Collect everything. Yeah. Now, you always hear the term data leak, right? Wow, you just collect. Kita beli banyak-banyak storage. You collect and collect and collect and someday it will be useful. Yeah? Now, I always have this term, yala, data leak uh, will become a data swap. Apakah swap? Swap macam pun, banyak garbage. Yeah? Garbage in and garbage out. Now, for you to get good data out of a data leak, sangat-sangat susah kalau dia become a data swap. Yeah? That means uh, you collect garbage. So the useful data is only 10%, but you collect 90% of garbage. Now, think about yourself, right? Like you collect things, you believe banyak barang. Maybe you like to collect container. I other satu relative here. Dia suka beli bekas. Bekas yang different size, different. Tetapi, when they really want to use the bekas, they kena pergi open all their cupboard, go to the storeroom, yeah? cari the bekas yang suitable. Yeah? They spend a lot of time doing it. Now, so data collect is that if you have a concept that you not collect everything. Now, what we need to do here at this step is when you collect, yes, you enable your yeah, collection of everything, but that means you are the step to filter. Yeah? So you filter data that you not collect. That means if it is noise, which um, you, this data is not very useful for you, but you collect, you boleh say, okay, this one filter saja. Tak mau taruh dalam data lake yeah, or data warehouse. Okay, I just collect tetapi at this time, I tell that data ini tak berguna for me for the time being, tetapi I still activate the collection. 
Now, after the collection, mungkin besok, yeah, somebody asked for, ah, I want to start collecting this data. Your collection already enabled. Now, what you do is that at the filtering level, you just have to modify that part to say that now I want to simpan or I want to keep that data. Yeah? So don't let your data lake become a data swamp. Yeah? Because mahal, yeah? you collect so much data and you don't know when to throw it out. Yeah? You just spend money collecting data. Yeah? Okay. Now, the second thing is that preparation. Yeah? I don't do a chart. Manual. Okay, manual. Other orang, tengok data. Okay, which is the data I not? And you keep repeating this year. You buy, you bought formula in your spreadsheet. You bought bermacam-macam, yeah? Prepare data. So a lot of people, they tak boleh buat preparation data at the source data. So they download the data, then they manipulate. Every month, they just repeat and repeat the process, yeah? So manual preparation is take a lot of time because you cannot buy cleaning. You cannot prepare, you cannot tell what is the meaning of the data, yeah? Now, automation will help you a lot. Kalau you sudah tahu how you want to prepare the data, you need to put in some automation. Tetapi automation ini, you need to change it over time. How to optimize yeah, the preparation? Mungkin you, today you think that the data macam ni. Then suddenly you will encounter a piece of data that, a new field, yeah? Uh, data ini contain a data that uh, sebelum ini, it's always good quality, so that means suddenly you, got, you get unexpected, unexpected value. You cannot look at to say, okay, unexpected value, ini bagaimana saya map data ini kepada format that I suka, yeah? Okay, now the next step is analysis, yeah? Analysis ini, you boleh, you guna bermacam-macam tool. If today you say, do I need a BI tool? I will tell you that, ah, oh, you buat manual pun boleh, you buat spreadsheet pun boleh. Tetapi, what will happen ialah point number two. You will have different, different copy of the data. You pun tak tahu data ini, how did you get it? You know, sometimes after a while, right, you look up. When your boss asks you, hey, data ini, ah, this formula, ah, mana source data here? Uh, I tak tahu lah. I did uh, apply a formula data, I extracted. How the person extracted data, you pun tak tahu, ya? And you end up here, the copies of the data is on your PC, on the file server, in the data warehouse, and value, value, semua tak sama. You know, sometimes that is the biggest challenge. Huh, mengapa value kat report saya macam ini, kat data warehouse macam ini, that is in the source system macam ini? Oh, tak tahu. Which is the correct version, yeah? Now, the third one is shadow IT. Now, because sometimes IT, yeah, kita tak boleh support our business user, to create the analysis for them, dia buat sendiri. Ha, they talk to other vendor. This vendor say, eh, you use satu, so ini free. You pakai saja, ya. Yeah? Uh, and then so it comes out to be shadow IT, ya. Yeah? So there will be, there will come a time when you find that you are supporting multiple tool because this tool now, they want to use it for other departments, so other, organ, uh, other parts of the organization. So suddenly, uh, you other support the BI tool. Yeah, something like that, yeah. So, you create what we call shadow IT. So, more around what their own way, yeah, okay. Now, the last one is reporting. Before you do the reporting here, yeah, as I mentioned before, you can not tell what does the customer want, your end user, yeah. Now, if the end user cannot tell, they say, just show me lah, huh? show you. Now, this is some of the challenge here yeah, that I don't have part. My customer come to me and say, hey, YT, I know you bought a demo or data studio. I say, after you not what lah, tak tahu lah. I just want to do, you just show me lah. Tapi, they cannot relate yeah, to the demo. So, you need to understand lah macam, like for example, this report, apa dia nak. Now, one of the important thing is that jangan spend so much time creating the report and your user say, this is not what I want. Now, you should do report here, yeah, iterative. That means you boleh share dengan dia, dia boleh buat comment, dia boleh kata, hey, can I? Filter myself. Ah. You bagi report skeleton dia. Tetapi when I slice and dice, I boleh buat sendiri. Ya. That is actually quite important. Now, when it comes to missing data, your report can jadi macam wrong. Ya. And bad data. Ya. That means we miss it. When we are preparing the data for the report, it's a miss the bad data. Huh, report come out, not accurate. Ya. And then finally, okay, for sharing. Now, sharing is very important. You cannot tell ya, how you want to share. 
do you want collaboration? Meaning that, macam I explain dulu. The report, yeah, you nak user boleh modify report ataupun dia boleh just filter, yeah, to, to get the view that they not. Now, you also need to know how they want to access the report. Now, I remember seeing a report here that was prepared for a PC. When people go in, uh, they now report report, uh, can I scroll left, right, down and up? So you cannot tell how is your end user going to consume the report. Now, if you give them a printed report, like a BDF, they are going to you, you know. Uh, I now change the value. And then you just say, oh, cannot generate like here. Yeah? So we need to understand what is the best ways to share the data. If it is a monthly report, yeah, like static, yes, you can watch printed report. Yeah? They don't want to size and die so much. So we need to know how we want to share the data, which is effective. And also think about the tools they use to view your report. Yeah? And then finally, security. Now, security is very important because if you buggy Nigeria, can you control the access to the data source? Yeah? You can control. Siapa boleh see what sort of data and sumo tu. Yeah? So, this is some of the steps and some of the things that you need to consider yeah, when you are trying to do a analytic report. Yeah? So, I'm going to stop here for a while and see other apa -apa soalan tak? Ada tak? Wow, so faham. <laughs> okay, everybody will nod their head. Yeah, yeah. Any problems are here, yeah? Okay? Now, the next thing I'm going to talk about is that, of course, kita are the tools to what end-to-end, yeah? So, um, I will just, this is uh, not what I'm going to show today, but I just want to share with you the concept. Now, today, we're going to be looking at the end result, yeah? So, this is the end result using Data Studio, which is what we call the visualization uh, place, yeah? Visualization of data that is already ready yeah, to be consumed. Yeah? Of course, you can use different tools to buy uh, visualization. You can buy visualization using Google Sheets juga, yeah? kalau you other workspace. Yeah? Now, but before that, yeah, you have data sources. Yeah? That's in it. Database, application, you mungkin other flat file, you mungkin other IoT, you mungkin other SaaS other cloud here yeah, beside Google, you are the on-premise data here. Yeah? So you need to what we call ingest the data here, yeah? consume the data here. Yeah? How do you flow the data from here to here? Now, this picture doesn't show you here. Yeah? Of course, when you use Data Studio here, yeah? you tak payah buat semua ni yeah? You boleh terus connect to the source here. Yeah? Okay, don't worry about it. Yeah? You tak payah tunggu. That is the beauty of Data Studio. You tak payah sampai ya buat all these things before you can even use Data Studio. So I'm going to show you like the fast method here. Yeah? Upper upper data. It's just a CSV file. Kalau you nak connect to something that's already in a database, pun boleh ya. Tetapi most of the time, to make your data really useful, you can avoid a few steps yeah? Number one, you need to consume the uh, data here. Yeah? Number two, you can avoid preparation of the data. Uh, remember, much uh, cleaning the data, looking at the quality of the data, and then transforming the data. Yeah, mungkin format dia tak betul semua tu. Yeah, and number three, you cannot store the data. Now, I would advise you, kalau you nak buat data um, dashboard, yeah, jangan jangan pakai CSV. Why? Because CSV dia static. Yeah, dia static. Kalau you refresh phone, dia macam you need to refresh the CSV. Boleh, boleh juga. Tetapi dia almost static. Performance might be bad kalau you ada millions and millions of rows here. Yeah? So that's why I'm going to introduce a little bit about BigQuery, yelah, um, serverless uh, data warehouse kita, yeah? uh, you be, We will be using a combination. Tapi I would advise that for the time being, kalau you tak ada ini, yeah? uh, like a data warehouse, you boleh pakai um, CSV first. But it's very easy to use the query. I will show you how you can load your data from a, uh, a CSV, start the query, and then what reporting. Yeah? Now, one of the things about Data Studio, yeah, data you can be from multiple sources in a single report. Yeah? You, need, you don't need yeah, to put everything in a single source before you can what report. 
when I'm going to show you the report uh, later in a demo, you are can see oh, yeah, data there in a single report. They're datang dari different, different tempat. Yeah? So it's not like, oh, semua man, mesti masuk data warehouse before I can. What analysis? Yeah? So that is the beauty of using data studio. Yeah. So you can do that and you can jump straight away. But after a while, you will realize here, yeah, the there will be missing and that you need to think about here yeah, how to get the data in a state where now your report here yeah, is a, a very good dashboard here yeah, for management especially. Yeah. Kalau you work at hoc, they're okay here yeah, and so on and so forth. Yeah. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to talk about a sample here yeah, of what is a good analytic report. Now everybody boleh buat, I would say that everybody boleh buat analytic report here. Yeah, tetapi, is your report good enough? Yeah? Okay. Let me kind of talk a little bit, yeah? Now, what does a good analytic report mean, yeah? First of all, it is a story told with data, yeah? So, you have a part of the report that you boleh see, yeah? Macam, just facts. Ini data dia. Okay? There is no intelligence to the data. Dia macam just a report saja. Now, the second one is that you want to make people think. Now, think me, macam, like, okay, comparison. Okay, what does this mean, yeah? Macam, last year, macam ni, last month, macam ini. Okay, let's say that later on when I explain the demo that uh, saya ada, so I will show you what are the thing part, yeah? That I, why I show that report, yeah? The thing part, yeah? You can see, but there is also a thing, yeah? Okay, then the other do. Now, what do you do with the data? For some of the organization, they're not what forecasting. They're not what uh, maybe uh, some action, yeah, something like that, yeah. So your report, yeah, is a story, yeah. It must be a flow of story. Color report, yeah, facts are there. Now, facts is good, but these facts don't tell you many things. So you have to make sure it is a combination. Now, when you write report, yeah, jangan uh, let the user uh, macam scroll up and down. Now, that's the worst thing. Wow, report last scroll up and down. Dia sudah lupa what is at the top. What is important is always at the front, yeah? And then dia boleh zoom down to the detail. Itu kena pikir, yeah? That is what it means by good analytic report. Now, the next thing that you need to do, yeah, is you need to focus report info, yeah? Info yang important. Now, sometimes the user tak tahu. The user want everything. But actually, the, the info is tak penting juga. This just show you the that thing to you, right? What can I do with it? The other, right? So you have to focus when you do your first page, yeah? First page. You must focus on info that is important, yeah? Okay. Now, the last thing is that it should be a collaboration and sharing tool. That's why I said printed report is good, the that that will go now. In a way that you cannot collaborate on it. You, you receive the report, then you just say, oh, I analyze on it. I just tell you, you, why the figure like that? Yeah? It could be a report that you believe, at least a report should allow you to write collaboration so people can work on the report together, yeah? Yeah, the data, yeah? Action together. So this is when an analytic report now will transform yeah, your data to information, yeah? It's just not data alone, yeah? Okay, so here I will pause here. Are yeah. there other questions like about this? Susah, yeah. I will tell you, uh, even designing the report is sangat susah. Don't think that what report, yeah, is a good, is a easy, is a easy, yeah. Dulu I bought analytic. I remember, yeah, sharing a little bit stuff. Right? Dulu because I bought database, so I'm a data management person. So I put your creativity in BI2 uh, is not as good as my colleague here. Yeah? So when I first got my first assignment to what a BI report for a user, yeah, uh, for a user, I wasn't very good. I'm not a good artist, yeah. So like color pun. So everybody will look at me and say, hey, why thing? Kenapa you put your color scheme? Uh? Very difficult to see, yeah. So think about it. Colors matter, yeah. Warner. Do you want a white or black background? Warna you pakai untuk chat chat ya. Words apa title, apa kah label, apa kah jenis chat ya. These are all designed 
it's like like you know these are elements but the thing, nowadays we are very lucky yeah because the fire coding yeah when i show you data studio the fire coding yeah kalau you buat already ya tak betul lah just quickly change ya yeah? oh dia tak suka warna ni kita suka warna kalau dia tak suka baca kita buat pie chart you know and something like that senang nak tukar the report ya yeah? and so that is where a tool yeah, that is simple to use fast to use here yeah? uh and and easy right is kind of good like oh ini senang i don't have to buat coding 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 then sekali report dah betul i still remember i kena buat coding you know in that tool i buat coding already i penat penat buat coding customer uh, my user say this is not what i want can you uh, do this do this do this because they don't buat requirement right because i don't know what to ask so when you have a tool that you boleh buat prototyping macam ah can i do it this way blah 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 they tell oh okay betul yeah bagus yeah then it's very easy for you to buat a good report for your end user ataupun for your team yeah something like that yeah okay um ada apa soalan tak ada so let me move on yeah wow i must be very good or you all are taking a break yeah okay yeah now report yeah just some element of report now report could be time series now time series mean that you want to do a trend yeah kalau there's no trend there's no date jangan buat time series yeah time series is normally kita buat is we want to see the change over time now for example kalau kita nak buat macam finance side here yeah, that is very good for time series yeah because you need to think also time series for forecasting kalau you nak buat forecasting for future you must use time series yeah now kita ada chart now it can be bar chart now bar chart pun you kena tahu yeah what are the element that you not show you want to show top 10 ke top 5 ke whatever yeah so some of these bar chart yeah everybody tahu bar chart ada bermacam-macam right ada stack ada side by side semua tu yeah now ada table juga now table is also sometimes quite useful because some of the data cannot be visualized they macam number saja they tak ada meaning yeah now one of the thing for table that is very good is that you boleh highlight later on i will show you um things like fever table in a report yeah uh, that actually can tell you a lot of data from just a table alone so you don't necessarily need a, a chart here yeah, to tell a story and you boleh scroll yeah you boleh limit the user to 10 at a time so they boleh nampak top 10 they boleh sort and so on and so forth yeah now the next one is that ah this is the kpi yeah oh kalau ada kpi besar besar yeah scorecard yeah oh satu scorecard you other yeah scorecard will tell you summary yeah kalau you are a private company you tell okay let's say for example you are doing analysis for a department okay apakah your budget for this year oh besar besar ada budget apa you sudah that means what you have already uh use up yeah i i already use up 80 percent mungkin yeah those are scorecard yeah that you boleh tunjuk yeah scorecard very important yeah scorecard now another one is type of bullet chart depending on the data here yeah? but macam macam mungkin you are the scatter chart mungkin you are the what area chart because you want to stack things ataupun you want to buat geographical yeah geographical punya mapping uh, of certain type of data or you buat bubble so dia macam macam ada word cloud semua tu dia ada bermacam macam chart tetapi report dia is always a combination now don't go over over what yeah jangan ah semua nak pakai Wah, I suka, I nak buat bar chart, I nak buat pie chart, I nak buat semua jenis chart, ya. Yeah? In a single report. Yeah, we have to know apa yang appropriate for the data itself, ya. Yeah? Jangan go overboard. Ya, yeah? and of course, kita ada pie chart. This is a joke, ya. Yeah? Kita ada pie chart, ya. Yeah? Kita ada donut, kita ada pie, semua tu, ya. Yeah? Okay. And report must come with control. Ah, uh, Apa control dia? Control them could be a date, yeah. But I'm not report date range from this date to this date, yeah. So only data that is created at our phone transacted during that period, yeah. So I bullet feeling dalam report saya, yeah. Another one is that I bullet select filter, yeah. Uh, do I want to filter on the particular field so that I only see the data relevant to that area, yeah? So this is filter control. And the last one is to be data control. What type of data I know? What, yeah? So, report, I'm going to tell you how you're going to do a control. 
a chart and so on too in a very simplistic um, data set that I created here. Yeah? So just to give you the idea of uh, how this can be actually done here. Yeah? So control very important and how easy for you to drop the control here, yeah? create and add the control to your page here, yeah? to your report here. Yeah? Okay? Now, and of course you have to add things like text because maybe you not change the title of the report, you not put in something in the report, you put other not at like a uh, gambar yeah images yeah macam logo lah uh, uh, banner lah semua tu yeah so these are things that you will add to your report so that you make it more useful yeah okay so i will now see whether ada apa apa soalan ada oh ada 121 people i don't believe no one has a question okay who wants to who wants to be the first person to ask the question Thunder, I give you chance to talk. Thunder? All excited with your talk today. Okay, so now I'm going to talk a little bit about Data Studio and then I want you all to log on to Data Studio, yeah? So that you can see what it looks like. They say, hey, why think kata senang lah tapi tak senang pakai, yeah? That's the worst one because kita tak ada uh, like uh, online, right? I just want to do, because Data Studio, you boleh buat immediately one, yeah? So it is not a tool that you can tell, oh, banyak step, yeah? Kita nak buat, yeah? So let us go into Data Studio. I just tell you the concept of Data Studio, yeah? Okay, then you boleh log on, yeah? Now, Data Studio, they are the tiga steps saja, yeah? First of all, you just say, what is the data I not connect to? Yeah, connect to your data. First step, pilih the data that you not pakai dalam report you. Yeah, then after you connected to your data, then you bought the report. Yeah, what the report? I thought actually is the other way. Yeah, you you do first do a renew report, then you connect the data. Yeah, then finally after you are happy with the report, you share. Yeah, and I'm going to show you how you share. Now, one of the things that you can actually do that a lot of people tak tahu, yeah, is that you can actually embed your yeah, data studio punya dashboard dalam auto you. Yeah? Let's say, for example, all of you will have your own company portal, uh, you, you punya department portal ke ataupun apa-apa. You can actually embed this report that you should have what dalam portal you. It's a very easy way of doing. I will kind of show you using Google site, yeah? so Google site is actually the free tool for uh, workspace user. You boleh buat satu your own uh, private site, then you boleh embed, yeah? I akan tunjukkan, senang saja. So can you imagine, yeah? you sudah buat, you tak payah ask people, yeah? eh, hey, I not, because a lot of people say they not buat analisa, tetapi they gonna use a very difficult method, yeah, to embed the dashboard inside a portal. And it could be that it's tukar, tukar yeah? So I want to show you how easy is it, right, to actually embed your punya report, yeah, in a portal, yeah? Okay? So, tiga step saja. Connect, visualize, share. Itu saja, yeah? Now, you will say, ha, why think kata senang lah, tapi kita buat lah susah, yeah? Now, kita ada banyak-banyak data source. I know it's very kecil, yeah? But I just want, when you go in, yeah, you akan nampak ini. So the data source that saya nak share, yeah, you boleh actually connect to, of course, the query. You boleh extract a subset of data. You boleh upload, yeah. I'm going to show you the uploading. Ataupun connect, yeah. You boleh tengok all, yeah. Um, the other one is that you ada uh, Google Sheet. You Kalau you ada data dalam Google Sheet. You pun ada kalau you buat using Google Survey, yeah. You nak upload uh, data, you ada YouTube. So, kita ada out of Google, yeah, 20 out of the box uh, connector. Now, you boleh buat your own connector, yeah. Bukan kata, oh, ini saja ke, you boleh buat, yeah. The other one is that kita ada bermacam-macam partner connection, yeah. A lot of people, they are the solution, tetapi dia tak ada analytic report. So, they connect to Data Studio to do the analytic part of their solution, yeah. So, you boleh explore, yeah. So, partner solution, Ada yang buat untuk Google, ada yang buat untuk solution dia, ataupun dia buat generic punya, ya. Up to, like, uh, this, during this snapshot, ya, I took is 479 data sources that you boleh connect to, ya, when you are doing data studio, ya. Okay, 
itu this is the different type of data studio i will walk through with you yeah bagaimana nak buat ini okay now to access data studio this is the link yeah okay if all of you are ready you can type here yeah? uh, i think i have a uh, let me see here oh i got you boleh nampak tak the url yeah you just log on or search for datastudio.google.com 